in this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate how you can use the cut chain 2D command to apply toolpath to multiple geometry selections. Let me demonstrate. Let's head over to the command manager. Let's select our stock toolpaths. And here's the cut chain 2D command. Now all of these commands here are great for doing things like engraving or slotting. It's where you want to take the center of the tool and drive it on the geometry. Well, for the cut chain 2D command, you're really only allowed to select one set of geometry or one geometry selection. Let me demonstrate. I can head over here and if I select this outside boundary, we'll hit the F3 key on the keyboard. Once we do that, it selects that entire shape, but we're restricted to selecting just one shape. What I want to demonstrate is how you can select multiple shapes using the same command. Here's how you do it. In this example, you can see we have a part and we have multiple O-ring grooves. Okay, and I want to apply toolpath, more specifically the cut chain 2D command, to all of these O-rings. So the tip is this, select your geometry first. Let's head over to our chain select. I'm going to select that O-ring, which is really just a circle. We'll select the direction. We're going to choose that direction. We're going to select that O-ring, select the direction, select that O-ring, select that direction, select that O-ring, select the direction, and then I'm not going to select the last one. We're going to leave that unselected. We're going to right hand mouse click. Okay, now with those four shapes selected, now we'll go into the cut chain command. We're going to select the last O-ring. Again, you'll select the direction. And now you're given your dialog boxes in which you can fill out. But the neat thing is, is that when you're finished with this, one CNC will apply the toolpath to all the geometry that was selected, and it will also maintain the direction that you selected the geometry. All right, so let's quickly select our preview toolpath. That looks good. And I'm going to increase the speed of the preview. And notice how the toolpath is being applied to all of the geometry selection as well as the direction of selection as well. All those O-rings are being cut in a clockwise direction. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.